I've got a really exciting project for you today. Now, if you'll remember when you would come to art class, there would be a sign up on the wall and it would say, no paper airplanes ever. Remember that? Well, guess what? We are going to make paper airplanes and we're going to fly them. Now, I have three different styles that we're going to make. The first one, this one is called a flipping loop and it flies like this. It's very cool. The second one we're going to make is a helicopter and it spins like a helicopter. And then the last one we're going to make is a cylinder with a wing on it. Now you think for one second that this thing can fly? It sure can, and it's totally fun. You guys are going to love this. We honor up, we honor down, we honor all the way around. We honor up, we honor down, we honor all the way around. is just another word for showing respect. Treat each other as they were important enough to care about that person. As important enough. What do I mean by that? Well, this means that even if you don't think that that person is important to you, you treat them with respect anyway. It's just like the golden rule. The golden rule is treat others exactly the way you want to be treated. So if you want to be respected or shown honor to, then you have to treat others as if they deserve to be respected as well. So you honor them by respecting them. When I say honor up, this means that you're honoring or respecting someone who is above you, like your parents and your teachers and the principals and anyone else that has authority over you, that's honoring up. When I say honoring down, what I mean is someone who is younger than you or someone who just needs a friend. Honoring all the way around, that means that we want to respect everyone that comes into our lives. So we want to honor them by showing them respect. Come on, kids, join me in honoring up, honoring down, and honoring all the way around. We honor up, we honor down, we honor all the way around. That's right. We honor up, we honor down, we honor all the way around. One more. We honor up, we honor down, we honor all the way around. Okay, this one is a tube with a pointed top and then this wing here. How are we going to put this thing together? Well, it's super simple. First thing we're going to do is get our plain sheet of white notebook paper. Then you're going to want to fold it so that we can get a square. And to fold our paper, what we're going to do is we're going to take this corner and fold it to this line. You know how the dots are here and then there's a red line? So we're going to take that corner and fold it down here. Now what you're trying to do is you're going to get the edge of the paper on the red line here and you're going to try to get the corner right on the red line here. Use your finger to press down for the fold. So it's going to touch the red line here. It's going to touch the red line here. And then just 
fold the paper. And I use my fingers to press it down to create that fold. Again, so you can see, red line is right here. I took this corner up here, folded it down, and then I've got a corner here at the red, all the way down to here, and then this side is straight across. So you have a triangle shape. Now we're going to need our scissors and we are going to cut out this square. And how we're going to cut is we're going to use that same red line and we're going to cut all the way up to this point here. So let's do that together. Okay, so now you're taking the holes off of your paper. And so the next thing you're going to want to do is turn and cut this way, right along the edge of that fold. Actually, I'm going to turn it this way because I'm a lefty, so I'm going to go this way. Lefties are a little different, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. We just do things backwards, that's all. All right. So I'm going to cut along that folded paper until I get that off. And now I have a folded triangle. Now from the folded triangle, if you'll open that up, look at that, you have a perfect square. Now, what we're going to want to do, you see how you have that folded line right in the middle of the paper? Well, now I'm going to want a folded line going this way, too. So to make that happen, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this corner that already has a folded line, and I'm going to pull it down and put it in this corner, and then fold. So now I have my triangle again, and if I open it up, now I have a folded line here and here. Make sense? Do not throw this away. We are going to use this for our wing, okay? So for the wing, what you're going to want to do is continue on that red line and take that last little bit of edge with the dot on it. Cut along the red line. You can get rid of the red the dots and keep this because this is going to be your wing later. Okay? So let's put it to the side. And we're going to start with our square. Now, this is a super simple way to make this cylinder from the square. What we're going to do is we're going to take the bottom corner and we're going to fold it up to that middle point. So go up into the middle and fold. Take it open again. Take that same corner and now fold it to this line. Fold, open it again, so I have a fold, a fold, a fold, and last but not least, I'm going to take that little corner, and I'm going to go up to that last little line, fold, now I'm going to leave that there, and I'm going to start folding, sorry, it went away, I'm going to start folding this in, so watch. I've got my first fold, second fold, third fold. See how you're landing right on those folds we made before? That helps to guide where you're going. Then fold it again. 
pinch it down, fold it again, pinch it down, fold it again, pinch it down, and fold it again. That's our last fold. When you get right to the middle, so this part right here is getting thicker every time we fold it, isn't it? And now I have a triangle with this part right here being thicker than everything else. Now I'm going to want to make the cylinder part. So to do that, I'm going to take our triangle and I'm going to roll it and put these two corners right inside each other like that. And I want to hold it between my thumb and finger so that I can make my cylinder nice and smooth. If you'll put your hand in there and roll it around a little bit, that will make that nice and smooth. Now you're holding on to this. What we're going to want to do is put a piece of tape there. So I'm going to get my tape. I'm going to have to let go for a second. Put it back in there. And I'm going to want to put a tape right there and fold that tape underneath. Fold that tape underneath. There you go. Now you have your cylinder. Kind of looks like a hat, sort of, if you put it like that. Now, that part is complete. All right, next we're going to put the wing on, okay? So what we're gonna do is we want to find out where the middle of this piece of paper is. So to find out the middle is I'm gonna take the paper, fold it in half, but I'm not going to pinch it down, I just wanna loop into it, okay? And I just wanna see where the middle's gonna be. It's right there. I'm going to take that middle and take this, not the pointy side, but the rounded side. And I'm going to put another piece of tape right there. So I'm taping this onto this. Okay, right where I was before. Taping that right in place. Now we have our airplane is all done. Now here are the steps, one at a time for you to follow. And now we're all complete. 
This side is where the wing is. This side is where the cylinder part with the point down here. And if before you started all of this, if you wanted to do some coloring on your paper, you could do that. I put red on one side and blue on the other side, and then I made my wing yellow. But you can make yours any color you like. Now you want to see how this thing can fly? Just watch this. Thank you.